me Lolita Path Over Lent. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I am about to cleanse my hair. This is a five day wash and go. This is using uh, Curly Magic and I Create Hole. And honestly it still looks good. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and cleanse my hair and I'm going to style my hair. This isn't product build up. This is like my little gray patch of hair that I decided to leave because everything else I covered up. But I was like, oh, that'd be cute if, you know, this full thing eventually turned gray. Um, am I going to leave it? I don't know. That's like what I'm thinking, but I might cover it up. I cover it up. Don't be surprised. But five day old wash and go curly magic. I create whole. Um, but now I'm about to cleanse my hair and I am going to style with Bomb Ass Fro Hair Jelly. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this. I forget. I think I saw a video or maybe something on Instagram about it and I was really, really curious. Of course, I'm still doing the no oils, no butters, no eco and I will forever be doing that. So I might mention it in every video. I may not because... It's a wrap. I won't be using it anymore. My hair feels really nice. Um, I have no oils, no butters in my hair. So, no, I didn't spray no water on it every day. Um, I have a video showing you guys how I just take my bonnet off and kind of fluff my hair. Um, if I wasn't at home on the board side <laughs> and really curious on how this right here is going to work, I honestly would just keep rocking this. Um, I may would turn it into a puff because as you guys can see... That would be cute, and my hair would be really curly, so it would turn into a really cute puff. Um, and that's what I will eventually do when I kind of get past these products that I want to try. Uh, now that I am not using a lot of the crap, <laughs> um, it's, I'm down to really just a few things that I can try, even want to try, but I did want to try this. Um, this has no oils, no butters in those first five ingredients. So we are good as far as if you guys are know anything about Black Girl Curls. Um, on top of the no oils, no butters, they also recommend that you don't use products that have those in the first five ingredients. So this does not. Um, it's water. I can't see it. <laughs> water, glycerin. Um, polyacrylate, metrodextrin, um, as a copolymer, um, xanthan gum, and lycum fruit extract. It's also coffee extract in here, but uh, no oils in the first five ingredients. So this passes the test. This is the consistency. Oh. Well, <laughs> I told y'all, it took forever to get this product. Um, I don't think it had, you know, anything to do with her sending it out. It just had to do with um, the post office. So, that's the consistency. It is definitely a jelly. Um, I'm not going to apply anything, no leave-in or anything like that. I'm just going to apply this straight to my naked, soaking wet hair. But... For now, if you want to see if this turns this hair into a bum-ass fro, keep watching. All right, guys. So, I applied the bum-ass fro hair jelly to the back of my head in the shower. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I don't think it's going to turn out anywhere near... Like my curly magic and my innocence. Uh, however, to be fair, part of it could be my deep conditioning. I did not look at the ingredients of this deep conditioner, and I should have, um, because by the way how my hair feels and how the way my hair is acting, like you see, it's just straight fluff, straight fluff, no definition. And that's one thing by using uh, the Black Girl Curls. Um, recommendations you your hair is just like totally defined at least mine is like always totally defined before i even apply my styling products and like it was when i cleansed my hair um when i cleansed it and i rinsed it out my curls were popping and then i applied this briogeo 
the avocado and kiwi mega moisture superfood mask and it felt good going on my curl still looks good while it was on and it smells so good it really does um but when i rinsed it out my hair looked like this and my hair feels like it has like this coating on it which more than likely, once I take a look at the ingredients, I think I am going to find some type of butter or some type of heavy oil, like castor oil, probably within those first five ingredients that has my hair with like this waxy feel. So, kind of right off the rip because of that, I'm not liking it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to proceed and I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to dry it and I am going to let you guys see what it looks like dry. Okay, so I have warm water in my bottle. Um, the one thing I have started doing is applying my product in the shower, at least my base gel. I apply the Curly Magic in the shower. Um, I am going to try applying my I Create Hold in the shower as well so my hair can just be drenched because uh, both of those products uh, have humectants in it which means that they attract moisture and I hope we all know by now that moisture is water and as, like you y'all see how that like Mm -mm. If I had not put that deep conditioner in there, my hair would be hanging with that water. And right now, it is actually repelling this water. So, anybody that watched the videos, my video, anyone else's video, Black Girl Curl video, I'm applying this much. I'm emulsifying in my hand. But anybody who watched their videos or anyone video who is doing the no oils and butters and stuff and you're like oh my hair love butter i mean you know like if if your hair love it i mean keep using it but if you're finding yourself with undefined hair even if you think that you have type 4c hair that does not um define uh i promise you if you click huh Oh, no, he had to go to California. So, uh, he won't make it back to Georgia till tomorrow sometime. Yeah. But, um, I forgot what I was saying. My daughter asked him about her daddy, honey. Um, yeah, even if you think you have type 4C hair, um, I promise you, just clarify your hair. Use the Kinky Curly Come Clean Clarifying Shampoo. And then use the um, AG Balance and Boost Shampoo and Conditioner. And even just doing it one time, y'all, I'm not going to like my hair. I can tell. But um, even using it one time, you can you will see a difference. And then, of course, the more the more you don't don't clarify again. Now, just you want to clarify once, but after that, every week, if like if you first start out and if your hair is extremely dry, then you want to uh, cleanse and moisturize your hair, which is just using the boost conditioner. You want to do that about every five days, and then when your moisture level is up, then you can start doing every seven to ten days but but yeah so i'm just gonna apply this stuff even though my hair is repelling water <laughs> i'm trying to get as much water as i can in but it's definitely repelling water. So this deep conditioner, although it's a pretty penny, and although it smells really good, 
it's going to go in my junk pile. It looks okay. Um, I think I like this um, bum ass fro <laughs> jelly. Um, I think it's about twenty six dollars, though, guys. I will put the price in the description box, but I think it was about twenty six dollars. So, um, more than likely, I won't purchase it again. Um, because on top of that, you have to order it. And I'm just about at half of the container, which I guess maybe I'm using too much. I don't know. But my hair is thick, and it kind of takes a lot for it to um, be weighed down. And I definitely, I want my hair weighed down because that will help with the longevity of my style. And so over the days... I want it to be, you know, poofy, but I don't want it to be poofy on day one. So I like it to be weighed down, which I'm going to try this again because part of it being weighed down is the water that my hair is repelling because of that little stupid deep conditioner. Y'all see that? Now I'm just using the product to smooth my edges. I am going to fix my part. <laughs> It doesn't look bad. I think it'll look better once I clarify my hair and get this deep conditioner residue off of it. But 
But right now, I am going to go ahead and go sit underneath my dryer and dry my hair. And then I will we'll be back and let you guys see the final results. So, stay tuned. guys I have set underneath my dryer and I sat underneath there enough to kind of let the outside dry but the inside was still damp and my back is still damp it's still damp but I'm going to let it air dry it might dry tonight uh, without me assisting it I kind of doubt it because it's raining in Georgia and the second ingredient in here is glycerin so you guys know it's like just soaking in that moisture but i think i really would like it had my hair not had that waxy film from this that deep conditioner so i'm going to use it again um after i clarify my hair and you know reset it to get whatever brioche you left on it yeah it's wet over here <laughs> But I'm done um, drying it for now. I'm actually about to go cook some dinner. And then if it's not dry, dry enough for me to lie down on, before I go to bed, I will stick my Dyson on it again. And yeah, I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought me a Dyson. Um, I am a professional, so I was able to get it at professional pricing, but it still cost me, including tax and shipping, it was shipping free. I forget, but I think I still paid like three twenty for it. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and got me a Dyson, but, um, I like it. I really do. Uh, will I order it again? More than likely not, unless she has a sale on it. And I think she's like a, a small business. So more than likely she won't have a sale on it. If it was in the store, would I buy it again? I would buy it again if it was in the store. Cause, um, one, I wouldn't have to pay shipping and two, I would not have to wait for weeks to get it. I think I waited about three weeks to get this. So, if it was in the store, I would purchase it. Am I going to order it again? No. But I do like it. Um, I'm anxious to see what my hair will look like once I get that uh, the waxy film and build up off. So, you, go, you guys go ahead and follow me on Health Over Length. Because once I clarify my hair and I'm able to use it again, I will go ahead and post the pictures of what my hair looks like on my Instagram. Uh, but for now, this is my hair. If it's, and you might be able to hear it, it sounds a little crunchy. And it probably will get crunchier once it's fully dry. Because, like I said, it's not fully dry. But um, crunch doesn't bother me, especially if it's not an Eco Styler crunch. Because you guys know Eco Styler has a lot of alcohol um, or drying ingredients. So the crunch is a little different. Uh, this crunch is just going to be hold. It's not going to be anything that's actually drying my hair out. So... That's it for this Lasha Girl. Thank you guys for subscribing. You guys have been uh, subscribing to my channel and I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know what else I may have coming up. It, it might be a little minute before I do a two-strand twist. Someone requested a two-strand twist video. When it raining today, I honestly should have done a two-strand twist because I could have twisted my hair and just left them in. But, huh, I've already done this. So... Um, the only other wash and go I can think of, like I said, is the uh, Curly Magic and using the Curly Hanson Custard. Uh, those are an OG favorite of mine, so I know um, I like the results of that. Outside of that, guys, I am done playing around with products. Um, my wash and goes, well, from after I get to using this, from here on out will be Curly Magic and Inner Sense or Curly Magic and Curly Hanson Smoothie. Um, that'll be my wash and go. So probably what I will do in the future is make a video on all the products that I will be using that meet the criteria and that I have already used and was really liking what my hair was, how my hair was responding to it. So I'll probably make a video from shampoo, conditioners, deep conditioners, not that Briogeo. <laughs> to styling products. Um, so, but that may be, maybe 
a month or two on down the road before I make that video, okay? Um, but thank you guys for watching. Please like the uh, button, hit the like button for me. Comment down below if you have any type of questions and please subscribe to my channel for a few more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye.